So now we go from doors to windows through this beautiful French door, which is also a window. And if doors are portals, windows are frames. Windows frame the world outside. Uh, they frame what we see from our house. They also frame the world inside for the people who see the house. And, uh, um, and inside that frame can be beautiful art or can be nothing really interesting. But the frame itself uh, can either create the art or kill it. So that actually happens with modern art quite a lot when the frame is more interesting than the actual art. But um, anyway, some French doors, two double doors opening like full length, uh, always beautiful. And uh, this is not the classical, uh, classical look of the French doors, but very, very beautiful. Um, so frames. So these windows are perfect examples of that frame. And, uh, and the one to the, to the right is actual frame uh, with the, I love those sitting areas under the windows where you can just sit and enjoy the art behind the window, uh, whatever it is. And um, these ones uh, are, well, the same idea. I mean, completely different windows, of course, but the same idea. They are made to frame the nature outside. And uh, you look at this, and uh, it's almost like uh, it's not a window, it's a photograph, or, or it's a painting. And uh, you, you go, imagine you go out of this house, and uh, you see those mountains around you. They're everywhere. They're overwhelming. The nature is incredible. Uh, here, you have this very selected piece of nature in your bathroom, uh, to focus on, to actually, so instead of all these mountains around you, you have a little part of it, which you, well, if you live there long enough, after sitting on that toilet, you will know that tip of the mountain uh, is your five fingers, and you will have a special connection to it. So uh, this window is making this part of the mountain yours to well, to study, to, to feel, to, to know forever. Because this is what we, I think, our memories, our childhood memories are those little frames, like the wallpaper on the, on the wall of the, my grandmother's house, uh, the view from the window, uh, the door that we open. They, they're all in our heads. And uh, they can be beautiful and meaningful, or they can be just eh. So eh is not a good thing. Um, this uh, is another example. So there was no mountains behind this window. Uh, there were no trees growing. But uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting story that is told uh, both ways, probably. Because if you see from the house into the window, I'm sure that uh, there is something to look at. And here you frame architecture. So uh, this is a study of architecture through that window. Uh, this is a beautiful example, um, and um, okay, beautiful space, uh, most probably somewhere in uh, Paris, or I can be, uh, yeah, I should have made a note, where did I find it? Uh, that's when, um, instead of making something standard, uh, the architect made the windows as not just roof structure, uh, not just the view out, the view from there must be amazing, but we are see, seeing it as amazing from outside. We are looking at it from outside and going like, oh my God, what a world behind those windows. How beautiful it is framed, especially when there is a person standing there. Um, there is nothing better than the light through the leaves of the trees. Uh, and here, of course, this... Uh, the, uh, the play of light and shadow is amazing, and those windows are giving uh, everything to it. Uh, and they are framing, the, it's almost like in here you feel like you are a bird, a happy bird in a cage. And uh, I don't know if a bird can be happy in a cage, but uh, 
If I was a bird in this cage, I would be absolutely fine. Just feed me once a day, I'm good, change my water, and I will go two, two, two for as long as you wish. And uh, this, uh, uh, this creates feeling of uh, a greenhouse also, uh, of some, um, the, uh, this very um, raw, on one, uh, very raw connection to nature, but also very contained. You're not scared that something is going to fly in. You're protected, but you're free. So this is a beautiful combination for me when you, uh, you have this temple in your house, when there is a lot of space, when there is a lot of ID inside uh, the house, uh, but you also feel safe. You don't worry about bats flying in and shooting on the floor like we do sometimes, and uh, yeah, or lizards and uh, stuff like that. Um, that is a masterpiece. So I can't even call it a window or, so basically it's part of the roof that is cut out and uh, that way they created a, um, an outdoor area which can also be covered from the rain and, uh, and it's, uh, I mean, it's so unusual and so cool. I would definitely love to be invited to the party on that. It's not a balcony, it's really a, a hole in the roof. Uh, so basically it's a big window in the roof which made the architecture completely different, which created the space. So instead of being just a frame, it created architecture, which is very, very cool. Well, that's another uh, example of um, windows creating architecture when they become more than what they're supposed to be and uh, also a very cool solution in this case. Um, this, um, so I wouldn't like to be inside there looking out, but passing by and looking in, uh, that's really, really sweet. Uh, and there is, what I would like to do, I would like to build the wall like this and put the, that kind of window there, but have nothing behind. So it would just be, you know, a window in the wall. And uh, this is so nice. You can imagine who is sitting here on this bench, uh, walking out of that house, and uh, she's probably knitting, barely have any teeth left, and, uh, but she's really sweet, and uh, she cooks really good soup, and yeah, love children. So it's, um, yeah, it's so cute. Uh, that. <clears throat> so I actually really love this uh, frame, um, but I can say things about it. And uh, normally, like a circle is the perfect shape. Oval is also a very, very, very beautiful shape, not so usual for windows. Even circular or uh, round windows are also quite unusual. But here, uh, they went a little bit more and they decided to make it a, an oval, which was probably very difficult to make for those window makers, but anyway. Uh, and uh, you see life behind it, um, which it's nice. It's uh, sophisticated. Uh, it's a little bit too, like trying too hard. Um, and, uh, and this trying too hard, though I do like this picture, but I don't like trying too hard. Um, I, I like interiors which are natural and relaxed and not too organized and not built by all the rules of the book. And, uh, but it's still, I don't know, it's attractive. It's very attractive. Uh, well, this is our favorite windows, um, I believe. Um, uh, everybody here already agreed that we like those windows. And uh, the uh, uh, arches, which we're gonna talk about um, very soon, that's of course a beautiful shape. And, uh, and here it creates uh, this, uh, um, it creates the architecture, it uh, creates the, uh, the sense of the stability in this whole room and, uh, and also the frames of the nature outside, the freedom. It's like everything together, you know? And uh, it's not just the window, it's, uh, it's not just the frame, it's not just architecture, it's just so much more. 
this is life this is life how it should be this is life how um, how yeah people good people should experience it um, another example of um, arched windows and uh, no comment I mean it's so pretty uh, what's happening next to the windows I will not talk too much about that because curtains and uh, uh, and all kind of you know whatever curtains but that's a world in its own right so it deserves definitely a lot a lot of other lectures uh, but um, and we'll talk about it a little bit when talking about light but yeah window and what you put next to it um, shutters uh, curtains uh, objects uh, that's makes the combination even more interesting and uh, the story more complicated so here we have those beautiful arched uh, windows with the uh, wooden shutters uh, the question here though if you close then you are locked in and uh, this is almost like closing the doors maybe they are the doors who knows but um, beautiful anyway very beautiful uh, this is um, I chose this picture uh, because this is uh, this organic um, architecture that I do like very much because it's just things that happen randomly and uh, nobody planned this um, nobody was thinking when they were building uh, the windows on the like a bit lower floor nobody was thinking how it's gonna look above or what it's gonna be and uh, but it does create this kind of bohemian um, very bohemian look and feel and uh, though I personally would not like to live like this uh, but I would definitely like to stay there for a while or come and visit or have friends living there uh, to me it tells cool space really cool messy crazy uh, very smoky weed everywhere but uh, really cool good music for sure this uh, is um, kind of the same story uh, this whole rooftop um, thing I mean not same story nobody smoking okay they are smoking but uh, not as much as in the previous one and um, so here the windows are actually creating this magical world uh, together in a combination and we don't see them as one frame we don't see them as <coughs> one view into somebody's life or from somebody's life outside we see them all together and that's why they are beautiful well this is perfection if you have this you don't need anything else you don't need to go ever you don't need to leave you don't need to eat you barely need to breathe because you have reached the enlightenment and uh, and you're probably dead and this is paradise so yeah I hope life on Mars will look that way one day that is something we I believe that like, all good people dream about uh, not necessary to live in full time but to have it at least few times a year this is our uh, uh, like the easiest way to connect to to nature to connect to our to ourselves to uh, get rid of all the problems troubles stress and to wake up in a room like this or a room like that well actually wait a second in a room like this um, waking up or going to bed would heal anybody's soul it's just pure healing this can be this should be like hospitals bed for everybody who is working 40 hours a week or more this though amazing really crazy but not for everybody um, but really incredible um, I probably because the nature is completely different uh, the quiet sea sunsets uh, water uh, is very calming um, Rocky Mountains is a completely different energy completely it's absolutely stunning and beautiful but I would probably prefer smaller windows in the mountains though 
it's amazing. Um, that is um, um, that's so nice. It's just so nice. Um, and the house is nice, the guy is nice, the dog is nice, it's just so nice. And uh, it's a frame, it's part of architecture, uh, it uh, gives uh, enough protection, uh, it connects to the nature, and uh, it's just nice. Okay, that was the last window for today, and from here we're going to move to niches. <laughs>